Hi everyone, Richard Robbins here helping you build a great business that you love. Anyway, this is number two in our objection handling series. So I mentioned on the very first one, I said my mentor Jim Rowan said we need to magnify our skills or sometimes we got to modify our dreams. So the second objection handler I want to work with today is when maybe you're on a listing presentation and you know the, the seller says, well the other agent said they can get me more money or we have had a number of other agents in and they, they gave us a much higher price to list our home for which obviously everybody wants to get the most amount of money for their home so this is very common but but here's what you might consider saying you might say something like this hey I can appreciate that let's face it you can list your home at any price you want however just because we list a home for sale doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell and I'm not interested in just listing your home I'm interested in helping you get it sold here's what's interesting about pricing you don't control the price and I don't control the price the market controls the price so what we have to do is we've got to move ourselves out of an emotional position and put ourselves in a very objective position as a buyer so let's review the comparables that I showed you a few minutes ago because here's what we have to do we've got to look at the homes that are for sale right now that are most comparable to yours and decide if you are a buyer which one would you make an offer on because we have two choices and the first is this we can list your home at a price that will maybe help somebody else sell because they'll look at yours and then they say boy if you like this one at this price let's go have a look one at this price or we can list your home at a price well everybody else is helping you get your home sold so let's look at it as if we're a buyer and let's go back and look at the homes that have sold number one and the homes that are presently for sale because what we know in the market place is right now about 30% of the homes every month that go up for sale are selling. Now, off script right now, you got to figure out what that number is because in a really hot market, it might be 60% are selling on a monthly basis. In a slower market, it might be 20 or 25%. But you've got to talk to them about these numbers and say, well, if 25% of the homes are selling right now, that means one out of four which we need to do is discover who are the four competitors that we're going to go up against when we go to the market then what we must do number one we're going to make your home show better than everybody else in some cases maybe we need to consider staging number two we got to make sure we get full access so when a buyer wants to come in and see the house we've got to make sure they get in and number three we got to make sure it's a price that is going to attract an offer that's what we have to do and the other thing to remember is a high percentage of homes that are going to sell are going to sell in the early part of the listing. Let me explain what I mean. What happens is when a brand new listing comes up, there's all of these buyers that are sitting there and they've already looked at all the listing inventory available and they've decided there's nothing there they're interested in making an offer on. So the minute a new listing comes out, all of the buyers waiting, they run out and they look at the brand new listing and that's when it gets all of the activity. But what happens after a few weeks, then all of a sudden the only buyers we have are the new buyers coming into the market because the existing buyers have looked at your house and decided not to buy it. So what we have to do is we've got to make sure when we come out of the chute right off the bat that I said it shows well, we got access, and we're priced at a price that's going to cause your home to sell. So let's review those numbers again, and after we've had a look at them, then you can decide what price you think you should list your home for. How does that sound? Anyway, I hope this is helpful. What you want to do is you want to role play some of these. You want to do this with some other people in your office, right? So you can say it so comfortably, but here is the key. Every objection handler must be handled in a way that serves the client. Not serves you, serves the client. Anyway. It's a beautiful life, everybody. Remember, make it count.